Okay, what I'm going to say, maybe you won't like it, but I don't care because I'm not here to say things that you like. I'm here to try and keep things real. If you want to retain your freedom long term, then you're going to have to lose some other stuff along the way. Some sacrifices are going to need to be made by you, by me, and by everybody else. Okay, we're in a war right now with the globalists. That's a fact. We're being assaulted on all fronts, medically, physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually, you name it, they're coming after us. And not only us, but our children, the younger generation, and the elderly, the older generation, and everybody in between. It's an all-out assault. It's a war. And nobody goes to war without losing something or sacrificing something. What exactly that will be will depend on the individual. But some things are going to have to go. You're going to have to lose some stuff in some battles to win the war. Let me give you an example. These so-called 15-minute cities that are being proposed, how do we combat that? How do we make sure that doesn't happen? Well, protests are being organized, which is fair enough. Letters are being written to MPs, which will do absolutely nothing. So what do we do? We get people together and purposely disobey whatever they set in front of us. So if they say you can't go more than 15 minutes, you go more than 15 minutes. They say you can't leave your zone, you lose your, you leave your zone. And then what? They fine you. They maybe haul you before the court. You might even serve some time in jail. If that's what it takes, then so be it. If you have enough people together, they cannot possibly process all the fines. And they cannot possibly prosecute all the people that refuse to pay the fines. We must resist. And we must resist in numbers. And if you have to take a hit to the pocket or spend some time behind bars, then so be it. But these people need to go, and we need to be prepared to sacrifice. That includes me, that includes you. That is the reality of where we're at right now.